What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be going over Hagoromo. Now, um, he dropped at the beginning of the week, uh, along with the update and everything like that. And uh, he is insane. So pretty much I'm going to be telling you guys whether you should grind him or not. And I'm just going to go over him and everything like that. How much should you grind and stuff like that? Because he's Phantom Castle. So it's like, should I grind him like max dupe? Should I just get one dupe? What should I do? Yada, yada, yada. So starting out, 1800 HP, 1100 attack stat, long range, uh, 99 luck. He goes to under 28. So that's actually really, really good. Uh, going on to his field and uh, buddy skill, boost crit rate, boost attack, uh, and then his uh, his jutsu. This is why he's so good. Restores 3,000 HP of a first ally in range and cures them mobilization. 13, uh, 13 times attack to one enemy within range, knocks them back. 60% chance of a mobilization for two turns. Now, the reason why he's so good is because uh, if you've played Blazing for a while, you would know... That there's only two burst healers in Wisdom, right? The only two burst healers are Samurai Sakura and this guy. And Samurai Sakura is a seasonal character that you have to summon him for. You have to summon for, him, whereas this guy is completely free. All you gotta do is grind for him. Not to mention, uh, there are some um, buddy healers and field healers and ability healers, but we never ha we don't have a burst healer, right? Outside of that Sakura. So this guy is a really, really good unit that is free to play that you can grind up um, and use. Now, going on to his PvP stats, nothing crazy because, you know, it's he's not made for PvP. So, you know, uh, it's actually pretty fast. Max speed build anyways. But yeah, so there's that 1500 HP. I mean 15,013. That's whatever. Going on to his sync skills real quick just to go over them. Uh, restores 50 health every turn sync with wisdom which you're going to be doing a lot of the time and then boost attack by 75 sync with long range which wisdom has quite a bit of long range so that's not going to be that too hard either now um as far as grinding him oh wait abilities uh so hp plus 200 so he has 2000 hp uh 20 damage reduction to bravery 500 extra healing so 3500 healing now then a 20% bravery reduction. So a total for 40% bravery reduction. And then 25% uh, immobilization resistance. Now, as far as how much you should grind, right? Uh, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to grind him. I'm going to try to get like top 200, I think. And the reason why I'm going to do that is simply because if I get top 200... I get all of these dupes right here, except for the last dupe, and he'll still be under 28 cost. He'll be uh, 27, so uh, that'd be really good. Now, as far as what I recommend, I this is what I recommend for you guys, right? If if you can, if you can get top 200, like if you have enough pearls and stuff to spend to get top 200, go for top 200. You don't gotta get top 100 because his last dupe doesn't really matter, and he's still under 28. So get top 200. Now, if you don't have, like, if you don't have the pearls and stuff to go top 200, I say just at least, at the very bare minimum, get to floor 100 so you can at least have one dupe of this guy for a uh, wisdom team. If you can't get him for under 28, at least get him for wisdom, right? So, uh, yeah, that's really, really good because I have the body Sakura for my under 28, so I don't really need this guy. Uh, for under 28, but he would still be a really good unit to use for wisdom raids only so uh, Yeah at the bare minimum I'd say at least go for uh, Floor 100 and if you are feeling like you do want to get them under 28 and stuff like that go for top 200 I'm still debating whether I want top 200 or not simply because I do got to use a lot of pearls and y'all know how I am about my pearls I don't really want to use them on something like Phantom Castle but we'll see. I don't know. But anyway, so that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.